Hey everyone, it's Cassie here with Candle Science. Um, and we are having a nice little chat today with uh, with Avery and our friend Nicole from Avery. So uh, yeah, let's just introduce yourself, guys. Hi there, I'm Nicole. I work with the WePrint team um, with Avery Products, and I am the account relationship developer. And I've been working with Candle Science for a while now in our partnership. It's really awesome. We're excited to answer some of these questions that you guys have about labeling. Hi, I'm Heidi, and I'm the photographer and graphic designer for Candle Science. And Heidi, also, um, if you've seen all the great labels that we've been putting out there and, you know, showing you um, the labels on the candles we made, Heidi designs all of those in Avery. So she knows a lot about doing good design. Um, so, yeah, let's just jump into some of your questions, guys. And let's see, let's do the first question uh, came from Soyful Aromas on Instagram. Um, and she was asking about the best labels so that the ink rub won't rub off if they get wet. So the best labels are through our WePrint, we do offer our film labels. We have a white film and we have a clear film. Both of them are waterproof and oil proof. So if anything, while you're making the candles gets on them, it's okay. If they get wet, it's okay. Um, and that way the ink's not going to run off. It's something that's only available through our WePrint. Um, we do have some that are waterproof through blank labels, but they're not quite as durable, excuse me, durable because they don't get coated like they do um, through our wheat print. We actually put them through a coater that gives them that extra bit of durability. Uh, let's see. Oh, and she also wanted to know um, about what's the minimum order um, uh, through Avery wheat print. So through our Avery wheat print sheets, the minimum is as little as two sheets. So you can usually get as little as eight labels if you're only looking for a few. Whereas if you want to go with our roll labels, they're more for larger orders. Usually we suggest about 500 or more. So once you get to that quantity and you're ready, rolls is going to be better for the bulk, but through prints, excuse me, through sheets, you can order as little as two sheets. Oh, and can I throw one thing in that I love about Avery is that um, you can individually change the design on each of the sheets. Um, so if you're looking for a few different options and you don't know which one you're going to want on your candle, uh, you can change just one of the actual labels itself. So you can really maximize that two label minimum or two sheet minimum by doing that. Yeah, yeah. I'm really glad you brought that up. I was actually about to mention that too. <laughs> I, I think that's such a cool feature. Like especially, you know, just like you said, if you're not entirely sure which label mm -hmm. design you want to go with, you can try it out on your candle, see how it looks without, you know, spending a ton of money on a bunch of labels that you're not even sure you're going to go with. So yeah, yeah, that is important to know. Yeah, exactly. And you can even have every single label different on the whole sheet. So mm -hmm. each one can be different. You can have each one have different scents. We see a lot of different scents coming through on the same sheet. So yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a really cool feature. I want to make sure everyone knows to take advantage of because it is awesome if you're just still in the testing phase. So thanks, Heidi. <laughs> All right. So what's the next question we're going to get to? Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. So this came uh, from this was a DM on Instagram from Ellie Candle Co. How can you upload different fonts? So you actually can't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in our design software, there is not a way to upload your own fonts if you have them on your computer, unfortunately. Um, what we usually suggest is you can put it as an image and then save the image and upload it into the program, but there's not a way to import your own fonts. Oh, and then let's see, here's another good one that um, I get from people all the time that is definitely important for folks to know. Um, and I don't know if you, you'll know about this one, Nicole, but um, so this is what needs to go on a candle label. So we actually do have an FAQ um, about this on the Candle Science website. So we'll make sure to link to that as well. Um, but so what you need in general, you have to follow the fair packaging and labeling guidelines. And so this includes a statement that identifies your product, which is basically saying, you know, it's a candle, it's a wax melt. Um, you need the name of your business, the place of your business, uh, the net quantity of the contents. So that means you have to say like how much um, the candle weighs and it does not need to include the jar. It is just the, the contents of the candle. Um, and that measurement has to be in both metric and pound units. So it will be uh, ounces and grams. Um, and if you're a little confused by that, don't worry. We'll make sure to link uh, to the FAQ we have about it. 
Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a little confusing, uh, you know, something not a lot of people are aware of. And here, so this is a question that came uh, also on Instagram from, let's see, Sloan Mama. And they were asking about eco-friendly candle labeling, some labeling ideas that are recyclable, compostable, just environmentally friendly. And a lot of people wanted to know about this one. Awesome. So through our WePrint service, it's not something that we offer yet, but it is something that, you know, we get a high demand for and we're working towards. Uh, but we do have eco-friendly labels through our blank labels that you can get on your um, on our website. So there are labels that are blank that you can purchase yourself and then you would print it home and they are 100 percent recyclable. So we do have it um, on our site, but not available through our printing services yet. So there are some options available, you know, if you're very eco-conscious and a lot of candle brands are. So that's mm -hmm. good to know. Uh, OK, and so now let's talk about something that probably Heidi will have a few things to say about. Um, and this came uh, also from Instagram. Um, are there colors, sizes, shapes, fonts that are more aesthetically pleasing to the consumer? So this is a pretty general question, but maybe we can just chat about that a little bit. All right, so you're putting me on the spot here. Um, I think it really depends on your brand, uh, depending on what fragrances you're using, uh, what look overall you're going for. Um, some people, you know, if you're doing a really fun, fruity fragrance oil, you might do a fun color in your candle and you might want to coordinate a label to go with it. Um, other times, you know, we keep, when we do our labels for our new launches, we sometimes keep them really basic. Uh, so just kind of, you have to figure out what overall feel you're getting from your fragrance what aesthetic you want for your brand. Um, so it's kind of hard to specifically give one answer to that because it really just depends on so many different factors. Yeah, I see a lot of people with, um, you know, they have, they're really going for that luxury target market. Um, they really go hard on like the minimalism with those really kind of sleek, elegant fonts, mm -hmm. um, you know, cl nice clean lines, things like that. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I really like some of the more like, you know, people who, you know, you're, they're using, a, say, like a mason jar for their main um, candle container. Uh, they'll go, you know, with a more rustic look or include some like a little hand drawn, you know, little images and things like that. Yeah. And I'm also personally a big fan of square labels. So um, I tend to lean towards square labels for a lot of things like the tumblers. Um, that's my favorite label size or label shape to use for those. So yeah, I like the squares too. Okay, can you discuss? Oh, this comes from Miss Adventures on Instagram as well. Can you discuss which label sizes and shapes are best for each type of container? So, kind of related to what we were just talking about. Yes, perfect. So, we do have on our um, on our partnership page on our website. It's avery.com backslash candle science. We actually just launched a gallery. So if you scroll down, there is a banner. Um, it's got like a lime green border and it says download candle label size guide. And when you click on it, we actually took all of Candle Science's jars. We measured them um, to figure out which labels are going to work best. And you'll see there are the recommended sizes for everything. This is so helpful. I mean, this is really helpful just for uh, my own reference when I've been getting questions from you guys about uh, labels and label sizes. So definitely check that out. Okay, here is um, one from Ms. Black Zulu. Is there a label paper that is uh, self-adhesive, um, does, i.e. does not leave sticky residue on the jar? Because that would make upcycling a lot more appealing. So there's a couple different options there. We actually have through um, our line that you would purchase in store and on our website as well, we have dissolvable labels, which is something that could work for that, where basically once you print on them and you're ready to take them off, you run them underwater and the label actually just dissolves right off the jar. Um, so that's one way where you could be reusing that jar. And then we actually just launched, I want to say less than two months ago for our Avery rolls, we just launched a removable adhesive. So when you're ready to take it off, you can remove it and it removes completely clean. It's not going to leave that residue or anything gross and sticky. Oh, nice. And that is so cool, the dissolvable labels. I didn't know about those. Yeah, it was really cool. When we first launched it, they brought in like this big tub of water and we all got to kind of like play with the labels and like take them off things and they literally just dissolve and crumble right off. It's really cool. That is cool. Nice. Hey, we learn something new every day. <laughs> um, oh, here's a, here's a, here's a cool question. Um, 
So this also came from Instagram, Caitlin Lees. I'm a rookie, so maybe there's a trick I haven't learned yet, but how do you put on the labels perfectly straight every time? I struggle with this every time I try to put on a label. It's just like a little bit crooked. This is something we get all the time. We do have um, a link on our website. Um, It's under our resources. So if you go to avery.com and you go to um, click on custom printing at the top and then click on resources, as you kind of scroll through, there's one that is called how to apply labels by hand. And it's going to show you, walk you through everything that we do when we're applying labels. And then also, segue, there will be a video coming soon featuring how to actually apply them to different um, jars for candles that we will be doing. So, (laughs) What about you, Heidi? You have any tips? Because you always seem to apply them really nicely. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if I do it the right way, but um, the way I found it works for me is I basically figure out where exactly I want the label top to be. Um, so how far, you know, where if there's a lid, how much further down I want it from the lid. And then I, I actually sit it in my lap um, so that I can see straight down uh, so that I can use like the top of the jar line as kind of my level. Um, and then I just place it down uh, top first and then I kind of push down to the bottom so it, I don't get any air bubbles. So I kind of just line it up and then go for it and. It works pretty well. I mean, there's been a couple of times I've had to pull it off, but most of the time having that top down view really helps. Then I at least have one line that is great that I can work from. Yeah. Yes, that's how I do it. So we apply labels for all of our trade shows that we do, um, you know, props and everything. We have to label them. So I'll put it top down where you can see it, usually like on a table with something on either side to hold it still so it doesn't roll and then apply it uh, top down the very middle of the label first press down on the middle and then slowly press down on one side and then press down on the other. And it kind of wraps around the product or what you're applying. And it seems to be the best at getting rid of any bubbles or not having any kind of issues when you're applying it. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try that next time I'm applying a label to a candle and see if I do a better job. Yeah. I was a very, very, very bad at it in the beginning, (laughs) but you, you get better. you'll, You'll learn your own kind of groove. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, here is another question. Um, can okay, can you ask about the new chrome labels and the types of jars they're best for? Oh, I think she's talking about um, the luxury metallic. Um, our luxury metallic is printed on top of our chrome labels, um, and it's it's we can do like rose gold. Uh, regular gold, silver, copper. So they're actual colors that we lay down on top of chrome material to simulate to simulate the effect. <laughs> um, so those are called our luxury metallic. And you have to call us to place the order for you because there are some special notes that we have to make on the back end for the order. Mm. Rose gold labeling. I would like that. Oh, yeah. yeah they're really pretty. <laughs> I love rose, rose gold. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm-hmm. Okay. Here is a question from Wireback Candles on Instagram. Um, she uses the label ready mason jars and wants to know mm-hmm. if there are more customized labels for sizing uh, because the rectangle labels that she's using still kind of seem a little too big and are taking up uh, some a little too much space for her. Yeah, so what I would do is I would go to that um, candle label size guide that I just mentioned. Um, So you can kind of see what is recommended for the jar that you're using. And also, if there's a specific size that you need that's not there, through our roll labels, we do have the option for custom sizing and custom shapes. So you can give us the exact size that you need, and we would be able to cut that label to that shape for you. Right now, it's only available on rolls, but we are hoping to have it on sheets soon as well. Another question um, from Lillian's Glow. Um, And Heidi, you probably will be able to to answer this one since you work in Avery quite a bit. Um, I would like to do black labels with white letters. Can I do that at home? Oh, man. Nicole, I'm going to put you on the spot first. (laughs) So black labels with white letters at home. So what a lot of people don't know is you actually can't print white. Most printers don't have a white ink. So what happens is when you lay down white and you print it, it's just going to be transparent. 
So what you would do is you would create the file, you would print your label, and as long as you're printing it on a white label, not clear, then what whatever it is would remain white. My dog's barking, sorry. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is would remain white. So white will print transparent. So you can do that on a white label, but if you're doing it on clear, it's not going to work because it's just gonna disappear. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you could get that look if you were using uh, like a white tumbler, for example, like if your candle container uh, was white itself, then you could probably get away with using the, the clear vinyl. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, it's just going to kind of look transparent and disappear. Yeah, we've actually done that with a label um, with mm -hmm. a clear film. We've done red. It was for our white current, I think. Yes, that's um, one of my favorite ones that you did. Yeah, so we, we actually had a clear jar for that one, I think. I might be wrong. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. We had a white candle um, so that you could see the, so it kind of made the text white through it. But, um, and then as it would burn down, it would kind of glow. So that is a dark enough color so that you really notice the text standing out. Yeah. Yeah. We do have white underprint. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we do have white underprint again for rolls. It's not something we have for sheets, but we have it say if you do want clear and white to lay down that extra layer. It's something we have through rolls, but if you're printing it at home, unfortunately, it's not something that, that you'll be able to do. Yeah. And Heidi, you did something similar too one time with the, um, the metallic labels, didn't you? I did for our peppercorn palmander. Yes, yeah, that's I right. I remember all these labels off the top of my head. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that one, it was the metallic and I actually printed black on top of it so that just the text was coming through as metallic. Um, which looked really cool. And we put it on our black tumbler jar. Um, so that's another look you can do with it. If you play around with the text and how you use no color uh, on the actual label. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of questions about that label. So that was a popular one. Um, okay, so we did reach, uh, I think probably pretty much the end of the, all the questions that you guys wrote in, but um, we get tons of questions about labeling. And one of the questions I get a lot is just, how do you make sure this label is going to be the right size for your candle and have just overall the right look before you place an order? Um, I can jump in here on this one. So when I am designing labels for anything that we're doing at Candle Science, I will make my label and then I will test print it with a PDF. Um, and then I usually will cut them out and actually lightly tape them onto the jars that we're thinking of for each candle. So that way I can really get a feel for, is the size okay? Is the lid gonna fit with this label size? Um, it's especially great when I'm trying to like really push the size of the label to like fit most of the jar because you don't wanna be covering up a lot with the lid. Um, it is also great for catching errors, uh, typos and things like that. So I definitely recommend making sure that you do that before you put in any order. Yeah, perfect. And what Heidi had just brought up as well is um, when you're placing an order through um, our Avery We Print Sheets, you do have the option to view a PDF proof. So we always suggest to open up that proof because you do have to approve it before you place the order. So open it up, make sure there are no spelling errors, make sure everything looks good before you place the order. So that'll be really helpful to make sure it looks great before you get the labels. Yeah, great points. Yeah, great way to test without, you know, before you place that order. Hit that order button. <laughs> um, oh, I do have a lot of people uh, that will ask from time to time about uh, uploading their own design. Like maybe they created a design in Illustrator or some other program. Um, mm -hmm. And if that's possible to do in Avery. Absolutely. So um, you can either do that when you're doing uh, Avery We Print Sheets, you will upload it in step three, which is our customized screen. And if you're doing Avery We Print Rolls, you would select that you already have a full completed design and upload it that way. So you can absolutely upload it from another um, source. Yeah, some people want to get a little more creative with it or, you know, maybe they have some some design mm -hmm. experience. So, yeah, that, that's cool to know, too. So don't forget about that. I don't remember who it came from, but a bunch of people have been asking about some cool label options for um, our new copper, silver, and mercury electroplated tumblers. And so these containers are very fancy all on their own. So I think people have been having some trouble trying to decide what is a good kind of label to put on these guys. I think um, what I've seen a lot of and what I think looks best personally is just a simple clean white label, like a square, something that doesn't really take away. Because if you use clear, it's gonna get completely lost on the design anything kind of like 
craft brown would look too rustic and the designs kind of clash. But something just white and crisp and just as minimal text as possible, really to kind of get a bit that luxurious feel, I think would look good. I think going with that, just having the solid color black could work too, depending on which tumbler that you're actually doing. Like with the um, the metallics that don't have the mercury dots all over it, um, those, those are liquid with black. Yeah, that's true. Black would look nice. Um, yeah, black. One it's thing I was thinking about was those, um, I've seen some candle brands that have the really thin vertical label going up one side of the candle. Um, and it's like super minimal. And I was thinking that could probably look pretty cool as well, rather than just like something in the middle, you know? Um, okay. So Nicole, what do you think are some cool options, uh, for just a creative ways to, to, you know, to design their labels that maybe people don't quite think about as much? Yeah. So what a lot of do, we have a lot of customers who do like scrapbooking. They're very artsy and crafty. Um, they'll purchase just like a full sheet of labels, um, or sorry, like a full blank sheet. And then when they print on it, you can print whatever you want. You can use, you know, various images on the sheet. And then they actually cut it out. You can cut it to specific shapes and sizes, and they can apply it that way. So that's kind of something out of the box that some of our customers who are a little more crafty will do. Cool. I'm going to have to go search and see if I can find some of these. I like that idea. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and joining us to chat about labels today. We hope you got some questions answered. And if not, feel free to drop them down in the comments below so that we can keep helping you out. Um, and don't forget, you know, if you do, if you are posting images of your products on your social media, make sure you're tagging at Candle Science and at Avery so that we can see what you're doing and share it as well. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with us. It's been really fun. Um, if you have any more questions, you can also visit avery.com backslash candle science. My name is Nicole. My information is there. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>